and welcome to moving week it's gonna be a really busy one guys so um yeah come and join us and we'll kind of take you along on what we're up to this week is this lens dirty is that better oh hello you what are you doing oh my god your hands are covered in pen and covered in fruit winder Mm -hmm. Oh, as if I don't have enough mess to deal with right now. The house is in absolute chaos. Um, and we're just trying to get as much done as we possibly can. So I'm going to show you where we're at at the moment. But first of all, I think I need to go and sort out this guy before he smothers fruit winder everywhere. So I've boiled the kettle about 10,000 times because I want to make a cup of tea, obviously. Um, <laughs> and I just keep getting distracted by other jobs. There's so much to do, so I've worked out we need to do at least two rooms a day for the next four days and then obviously we move on the Friday. Um, and that will kind of work out and then there'll be like the bathrooms to do but they don't have that much in. Obviously we need to clean them but like packing them is hardly anything. Um, so that means that each day we have to get two full rooms done. Um, so I'm a bit nervous how this is going to work but I just think it's going to have to like we leave here on Friday and we have to have all of our stuff out so whether that means that we have to pack through the evening and into the night some days so it's going to have to be Ricky and I are up in my office now we're trying to get this pack today and also the little loft room which is above it which I did organize last year um, when lockdown started so around March April time I think it was which is almost a year ago so it stayed very well organised but there is a lot of stuff up there that needs to come down and maybe have a bit of a sort through as well so it's going to be a big job. Um, but yeah I'll show you what my office looks like so far. We've got the boys sitting in the bedroom just across there watching Beethoven so um, that's how we're trying to do it at the moment. We're trying to like keep them close, keep them a bit entertained, have little breaks where we play with them and feed them and stuff. <laughs> like again everything in the drawers and stuff is all sorted and organised but it's still I think going to have to come out because this is going to be really heavy. We've got loads of empty boxes that we've just managed to clear so that's good and then we've got yeah clothes, units and then more stuff over here like work stuff so let's carry on. Ready? <laughs> so bad <laughs> that my makeup's come off there's literally no point putting makeup on um i look like the exact same because i have the same clothes on that's why basically i'm not gonna lie i'm just trying to limit the amount of washing we've got to do before we move um i didn't really finish the vlog yesterday but i don't want to just constantly show you time lapses of us packing because i don't know <laughs> how interesting that's going to be but um we basically got my office finished and now today we're going to focus on three rooms. We're going to do the living room, um, the hallway because there's quite a lot of cupboards in there. So it looks like there's nothing in there but there's actually quite a lot in there. And also the loft above which we were meant to do yesterday. Here like all of these drawers and things are empty. The moving men are going to just put all of our clothes that are on hangers in like wardrobe boxes on Friday. So we don't have to worry too much about them. But everything else um, is in boxes now. So that's basically the whole room boxed up. The desk is empty, the shelf, all of that's empty as well. We've got all our fans there, which have basically sat there from the summer, which need to go up into the loft. Um, yeah, so, oh, I've got to take these curtains down and do a few more bits. But basically, 
it's done in here. And in the living room, Rick's basically in the process of taking everything off our shelves. We're gonna sit and pack some ornaments up. Also, a few people have been saying that I sound like I've got a really bad cold. I think it's because of my dust allergy. So obviously, like, uh, packing up a whole house, dust is gonna come up. Um, yeah, so my eyes are running now and my nose and I sound like this. Dust, so, everyone a little bit dust. Yeah, so. <coughs> oh, hello, Elliot. Excuse the state of us all, by the way. We just, we've, it's like a mixture of lockdown yeah, 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 yeah. and packing. We're just we're giving up for a little while and trying to look presentable. This is how everyone looks in lockdown, though. No, I don't think it is everyone. Okay, what's the time? About half four. Half four, so we've been going at it for, well, a while now, and I feel like the living room's almost done. It's, is well, it I can feel that it's getting done because it's starting to get yeah, really echoey. Yeah, Everything is stacked up at this end of the dining room, just so we, oh, the, end the end of the living room, just so we've got a bit of space. The table's gonna be dismantled by the removals company, so we've just had to box everything else up. Elliot, how are you getting on? Dad? Scared? Why are you scared? Good. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm glad you're good. Archie's just Hello. down there playing on his game for a little while. Just a bit of peace and quiet for his brother. Kate's just giving the skirting boards a little bit of a clean. So I think we're pretty much done in this room now. Cool. My lockdown hair is out of control. Can you see the marker? It's actually really long, isn't it? Um, side yeah, wipe side tables down, everything out there has been wiped. Um, so I think we're just going to stop, have a little bit of a tea break. It is about 12 o'clock I think. I was looking at the clock but the battery's running on the clock. I'm sure it's about 12 o'clock. We've just finished doing the hallway and we finished the living room earlier. We're both absolutely knackered. We've still got quite a lot to do. Uh, we've still got quite a lot to do tomorrow, um, but I think with a big push tomorrow, get up early, um, smash through it, and hopefully we'll be able to get it done. Uh, which then leaves us Thursday through the kitchen, and then the afternoon just to go around the house, make sure everything's done, make sure we haven't forgotten everything, um, make sure everything's packed well, um, that nothing's loose. Uh, and then on Friday, it's going to be moving day. Wednesday. It is Wednesday morning and I've just been out to take Miley and Pippa to... Let me just turn that down. I've just taken Miley and Pippa to see the lady that they're going to be staying with on Friday because our normal lady that we use has had to close her business due to COVID. So we've just had to introduce her, socially distanced of course, to who they're going to be staying with on Friday. The boys are taking advantage of a broken box and drawing and making crafts all over it. And what have you written, Archie? What is it you want to show us? I love you, Mama and Dad, and then a heart. Oh. And, I, in, and in the box, yeah. I invited, I love you, Elliot. You wrote, I love you, Elliot. Yeah. Yeah. What a lovely big bride. Well done. Whilst they're playing and doing some more drawing, we're actually going to go and tackle their rooms oh, today. I um, as I said yesterday, we need a day of speediness oh, to, <laughs> to get on top of things and fingers crossed by the time tonight we'll be ready tomorrow just to do the kitchen and then have a final walkthrough before we move on Friday. I have to be. to start. 
are Archie's room today. Um, I did organise it all the other week, so I know exactly what's in here and everything is going to the new house. Um, but it obviously all just needs to be packed up. Elliot's room on the other hand has got like this again. <laughs> But I don't want all of the big ones. You don't? I want that teddy. I have just come for a quick break. We're currently packing up the boys' bedrooms. No makeup on today, we're just going to skim past that. I'm not even going to apologise because I've realised that apologising for what your actual human face looks like is so bad. But anyway, I still feel like I have to say it. I thought I would quickly sit down and show you a few things that um, have been really helpful whilst we've been packing. I'm no packing expert, but a few people have asked me for tips and tricks and stuff. So I will do that at some point, but I just wanted to show you a few things so far. So when we realised we were moving and it was like coming up quite soon, we ordered quite a lot of boxes from Amazon. If you have a removals company, they probably will quote you for boxes. We've got a moving company. We've had some boxes from them and they really kindly supply the wardrobe boxes. So that will make that really easy. But we, we have bought quite a few boxes from Amazon because it turned out that it was the cheapest place and it was cheaper than the moving companies were quoting us because we've got a few quotes. Um, and also we have been getting them from the supermarket. Um, I don't know how easy that is to do at the moment. It's usually they'll give you boxes for free, um, but with coronavirus, it's a bit difficult, but we have a friend who works for a supermarket. So he's just been like collecting boxes for us, which has been really helpful. So we've got, I, one thing I would say is however many boxes you think you're gonna need, you're gonna need more. We've already run out. We're waiting for another 50 to come today from Amazon. They're quite small ones. Um, that we've got from Amazon, but they're like a really good sturdy box and we've been finding they're a really good size for most things, but we do need larger ones as well. Um, and then I ordered this um, like tape gun and it came with about six rolls of tape. I'd probably double that and I would probably get two packs of these um, so that you don't have to keep passing them to each other. I mean, you don't need to do that, but it just makes things quicker and easier if you're doing different rooms. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely get a few packs of the brown tape and these guns. And then I also ordered a pack from Amazon, five of these, you know, like these tartan laundry bags. So I've already been putting, what have I put in them so far? Oh, clothes that were folded under our bed, I've put in some of them. But what I'm going to do is, tomorrow is Thursday, so the day before we move, I'm going to wash and dry all of our bedding and put it all, like put the duvets back in the clean duvet covers, the pillowcases on the pillows, um, and each have one of these laundry bags for our rooms so that I know exactly where they are. And one of the first things I can do is just make up the beds, even if like they're mattresses on the floor, because then we know that we can get into bed whenever we want to and it's not like a last minute thing. The worst thing is after a day of moving, unpacking, packing, whatever you're doing, um, to go to bed and realise that you've got to make all the bed as well. So I think these are really good, like they're really strong and sturdy, they're made for clothes. So we've got some for bedding and then some for the uh, laundry cupboard with all of the towels and sheets and clean stuff in it. You could obviously also use one for dirty washing that you want to take to the new house. So I've been washing everything like crazy. So I'm hoping that I'm literally just going to have the dirty clothes of everyone's from the day before, but I'm still going to need a bag. So um, yeah, there's loads of ways that they're helpful but what I did was when I was looking at all of this stuff probably a bad thing because it enables you to buy more but I typed in moving supplies and anything that I found helpful I decided to get I also ordered a pack of tape that said fragile on because I thought that would be really good and really important for some of our ornaments but somewhere along the way in the beginning stages it got thrown away okay just been writing fragile on the boxes it's fine I would also I mean, you might have loads dotted around your house, but we have run out of every like marker pen that we've got to write on boxes. It's ridiculous. So I would even order a pack of Sharpies and like have those designated for the boxes. All of these things you feel like now, I won't need that, I won't need that, but 
when you're in the middle of it, it really does make your life easier. So I'll link everything that we've used in the description box below. Most of it's from Amazon, so it's just worth going on there and having a little Google, a little Google on Amazon, that's not right. Um, having a little browse, having a little look. If I can think of anything more, I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, that's where we are at at the moment. I think I need a tea break and then I'm gonna carry on with Archie's room, but the house is really starting to feel quite empty now and quite echoey. So yeah, I feel like we're doing okay. We're definitely not on top of it, but we're all right. We're not in too bad of a situation. So this is where I'm up to with Archie's room. It's actually going fairly quick. I've still got a lot under his bed to do, but I've done the two side bits. Now I'm just gonna do all of his shelves for his books his ornaments, his, all his pictures of his family. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's not too bad. I'm out of breath, I'm running up and down the stairs with like bubble wrap and random stuff. But Ricky's nearly done Elliot's room. So um, these have been much quicker than I thought they would be, these bedrooms, because they're full of so much stuff. And they've probably been the quickest out of every room so far, would you say? Yeah. Yeah, super dad. So, we haven't vlogged for a while. Today got ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie, it's been the hardest day and we're both exhausted, but if you guys remember last year when I cleared out this loft and nearly had a breakdown doing it, um, it's completely empty and I've nearly had a breakdown again doing this today. I've actually loved having this uh, little kind of like loft, but it's all plastered and carpeted like a room because it's been a bit like my Monica closet and I've just kept so much stuff up here and I've been able to just like whiz up and down the, uh, the ladder and stuff and not be worried that there's like rats or <laughs> birds or anything up here but um yeah it's all done just Henry up here with me now on my phone and I've got a torch light on my head can you see <laughs> because um the bulbs have gone but anyway all done. Now I've just got to sort out down there. Definitely the worst. Hi guys. So it's <coughs> Thursday today and um, we haven't <laughs> vlogged all day. We have just been crazily trying to get everything done. We're in the kitchen at the moment. Um, I'll spin you around so you can see. We've still got to unpack, um, unpack? unpack? No, pack. pack some cupboards. But most of the cupboards are done. Um, when the boys are in bed, because it's the evening now, I'll walk you around and show you everything that we've done. Um, I'd say, what percentage do you think we're there? 92. Really? That much? I was going to say 80. Well, yeah, because I reckon we're probably... It's just the rest of the kitchen. Yeah. And then we've just got to walk around each room and just pack up the odd bits. Yeah, we've done... This is the last room now, but there's bits and bobs in every room. I don't think we've ever had such an emotionally and physically exhausting room. <laughs> oh my God, I can't even look at myself right now, but I think I'll look back on this and think, wow, I worked really hard that week, <laughs> judging by the way that I look right now, and I will look back and laugh with fun memories, but right now I'm a little bit stressed, so it's about half 11, is it half 11? midnight um the night before we're moving we need to be up at six in the morning we're still going but we're nearly done i'm just giving the bathrooms a really good clean we're going to clean the whole house tomorrow because obviously there's boxes everywhere so there's no point doing it now but the bathrooms are clear like the bathroom and the ensuite so i'm just giving them a good clean now so that's out of the way um and i'm just gonna run you around and show you what everything looks like right now yeah you've got the porch which Pretty much looks okay really. We've got some plants there that need to go. Shoes ready for the morning. This is the snug now. It's completely full of boxes, a few like random toys. Oh, there's so much stuff. Um, yeah, the only thing really in here is the TV and then the rest is ready to go. And then we've got, oh, hello baby. You woke up. Oh, <laughs> this is your wake up time, isn't it, honey? So we've got the hallway, we've got a Ricky. Oh. Um, right, so this is what the kitchen looks like. We've got like our cleaning supplies out still. 
Um, obviously the microwave and we've got some bits and bobs for the morning. We've got the kettle throughout, of course, because that's very important. Cups for the bowls for the, the boys. The microwave has been cleaned. And that's some stuff for the morning. And all of that's empty over there. Yep, yeah, bins clean down there. And then we're just putting some washing away. And then this is what this room's looking like. So everything's cleared out here. Just got to take the telly off. And then we've got lots and lots of boxes, lots of frames, lots of mirrors down this end. So, wow, it's a lot. If we come upstairs, this is Elliot's room. Again, full of boxes. His bed needs to be taken down tomorrow. All that's left is the clothes hanging in his wardrobe, which they're going to take. Then I pretty much cleaned all of the bathroom. Just left out a couple of bits well, that I need for a shower. Room, yeah, this stuff is so good. Just clean the whole bathroom with this flash bicarbonate of soda. I don't think I've really used it before. Really good. All the Christmas decorations are here. We do go all out for Christmas, but that's a bit much. Then we've got Archie's bedroom. He's asleep, so he's in his bed bed. Just there. Um, I have been in there as well. I've been in there all night. Oh, bless them. So yeah, I've got that room. This room still looks a little bit messy. Oh, we've gone very blue. Sorry, there's so many different lights in different rooms. We've got yellow and blue everywhere. Oh, LB, what's the matter? Right, our bedroom is still a bit of a mess, but obviously we need to go to bed tonight. Um, everything else is pretty much packed. And then we've got this room. And then apart from, again, the clothes on the rails and doing up a few boxes, we're done. We are done. Kaplunk, I am kaplunk. Um, we wanted to end the vlog here because we're not sure how much we filmed this week. It's been a whole week of packing, so we thought we'd make that into one video and then we would start a moving day vlog from tomorrow, so you'll see it all. Um, but we just wanted to say goodbye and yeah, it's our last night in this house. Yeah, quite emotional really. I don't think I'd be that emotional because we've not lived here like for years and years and years, but no. it's still really emotional because it's been a really nice home, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it's just uh, like... The first time we ever bought... When you think about it, it's like the last time you're going to lock up, <laughs> the last time you're going to put the boys to bed in this house. Yeah, but it's on to new adventures, isn't it? Yeah. This little guy's still alive. Hopefully snowy adventures. Yeah, it's meant to be snowing at the weekend. Not tomorrow, hopefully. No, I think no, not tomorrow. Oh. I might allow the snow, but not tomorrow. So, yeah, we're going to say goodnight now. Wish us luck and we will see you in the next nice. vlog when you'll hopefully get to see the house for the first time. And we'll get to see it for the third time. How crazy is that? <laughs> anyway, bye guys. <laughs>